Does that look stupid? Oh no, that looks kind of cool. I mean, it is what it is. Honestly, this is my makeshift background. <laughs> Hi guys, so in today's video, we're going to be unboxing every single, actually disclaimer, this isn't every single pressing of Scaled and Icy, I'm missing one pressing, and it is the UK exclusive, I believe that's what it's called, it could be called something else. I believe a friend is ordering me that, um, if not, I will just wait until somebody in the US gets it imported somehow. Um, and then I'll end up paying stupid money from them, but I don't have that one and even if I was getting that one It would be a timely process for it to arrive at my house Like we would be talking like a month to two months because of the holidays and stuff for it to get to me right now And I don't want to hold these off for that long anyway So that one's not in this video until then I have every other pressing of Scaled and Icy and we're gonna open them in today's video. As you guys know, I love 21 Pilots. I've loved 21 Pilots for what feels like a very long time. It's been a while. Uh, it was definitely around like my freshman year of high school. That's when I discovered a lot of the music that I listen to now still, but that is one that has always stuck with me. I love them. I love the fact that they're also from Ohio, and I love the fact that they're from Columbus, Ohio, so it's not too, too far for me to be able to go and see them there, and seeing them live in their hometown is just a crazy different experience. If you're ever able to do it, I highly recommend doing it. Speaking of, I did go and see them on the TakeOver Tour. I did vlog every single day of the shows. If you guys want to go ahead and check out those vlogs, it would mean a lot to me. I worked really hard on them, and I feel like they didn't do that well, so if you guys could just go watch them, give them a like, it would really help me out, especially if you guys like Tomo Pilots, they're pretty fun, and I really enjoyed filming them. We're gonna open up this one first, because I think I said I was gonna open this, I never got around to it, so we're gonna open this first. It's not scaled and icy, but this is the Blurry Face, uh... 2LP Red Walmart exclusive. This is part of Fueled by Ramen's like 25th anniversary or something. I don't remember the number. Uh, they repressed some of the bands on their label and one of them was from Palettes with Blurry Face. So I got the silver pressing, did a separate video on that, and this is the red one. Now I have seen this one in stores so like I didn't technically need to order this but it sold out the first time it went up which made me stressed out. <laughs> That wasn't even intentional. I was just anxiously awaiting a restock and I got a notification that this restocked, so I just ordered it at that time. Also, some people think it's kind of pointless to buy all the different pressings for one album. I get it, like, you only need one to listen to. I totally understand that, like, I get it. But I've been really considering doing 100% completion of Toyama Pilots, which will be really hard to do if I don't buy all these pressings now and I try to buy them later because a lot of their older pressings are stupid expensive and will take a lot for me to get my hands on. So for now, I'm just buying them as they come out so that way I don't regret it later. The inside, just like the original release, nothing too crazy. I think there was a red release. I feel like there should have been a red release. Or I know there was one of Vessel, but I feel like there should have been a plain red release of this already. If there was, I don't have it, so I'm okay with getting this. Oh! So it's not a transparent red. It's an opaque red pressing. Depending on where you hold it in the light, you can kind of see like some different like darker red like smoke. Like if you hold it up like marbling, it's kind of weird though. I love red pressings on my camera. They always look super crazy. So I hadn't opened this yet. So I figured it'd be fun to do a little bonus and open this at the beginning of this video. So I bought this one last second because I realized I hadn't ordered it from anywhere. And I saw it on Target, so I was like, oh, I'll just buy it from Target out of convenience because I get the free shipping. So I ordered it from Target, and I think it was only 20 bucks. This is so cool to see in person. Like, this looks great, this large. This looks good. 
and then this is the back. So you have all the tracks. Nothing additional, no poster, no download code, no nothing. We have a nice inner sleeve with this really nice picture of Tyler and Josh and then they're in between like the cool trash set that they had. This is so cool. I really wish they had this on tour. I'm thinking maybe they're saving it for the icy tour that's happening and the tickets are going on sale tomorrow and I'm freaking out because I'll be at work. So good luck to me because the last time I tried to buy a Toronto Pilot tickets, it took me over an hour. And then on this side, it does have the lyrics. I like how the songs are kind of like how they are, like the lyric videos that they uploaded. This is the standard black pressing. So we have a white label with a blue font and then a blue label with white font on the other side. Had to get it. If I play one, it'd probably be the black pressing, to be honest. I don't... I try to preserve my colors. Now in no particular order, we're gonna get into the colored pressings that I have. Oh, oh my god, I hit my elbow. Nice, this one has a sticker. I always get excited about stickers. Like, So this is great. This, oh! Now this makes sense. Okay, if you guys saw the black pressing, I thought this sticker seemed kind of empty and odd. I thought it was kind of weird. But on this one, it's filled in and it says the exclusive, I don't know how to say this blue. Is it Curacao? But it says it in the middle. It's probably to make it easier for the different websites that will be selling the multiple pressings so they can tell. But this one also has a sticker in the corner that's the limited edition exclusive Curacao color only at Walmart. So it has two stickers on it. I don't really know what the difference is between this blue and the merch shop blue. They looked very similar, if not the same to me. I was kind of shocked they did two blue pressings and not at least one pink and one blue. That would have made so much sense for this cover, even though I have plenty of, of pink vinyl and I'm like kind of over pink vinyl. Same exact sleeve. And it's like a nice kind of matte finish, if you guys are wondering. <gasps> oh, this one, so this one is a translucent blue. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty! This is sick! Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> so this is the blue Walmart Curacao pressing. And it is nice and crystal clear. Hi guys. Um, super clean pressing on this one. I don't see like any flaws or anything. Yeah, so we have the Walmart pressing. So when we get the merch shop one, we're gonna have to open it and directly compare. Oh, I know which one this one is. So funny story with this one. I was a little nervous. Um, when this was released, I called my local record shop and asked if they were taking pre-orders and they said yes, so I was the first one on the list. Now my friend had wanted the Halsey Indie exclusive and I wanted the Billie Eilish Indie exclusive back when those came out. My local record store never got the Billie Eilish one and they got two of the Halsey and they got them like two weeks ago as I'm filming this. So it took them like two plus months to get the pressing they weren't getting it then they were getting it then they weren't getting it and then oh we're getting two they called and told me they were getting two it took six weeks after they called and told me they were getting two for me to get it so i was super anxious that they weren't going to get the 21 pilots one just because of past experience so i ordered this on um hollow bone records which i've ordered quite a few things from them because I was super nervous my store wasn't going to get it and they called me and they told me that they got it and now I don't know what to tell them because I don't want it to seem like I'm not supporting local record stores because I still got this from an actual record store like I didn't buy this on eBay. I just had to make sure that I got this and I was really nervous that I wasn't going to end up getting it. And this one does say exclusive crystal clear vinyl. I love how it says crystal clear. It's not just clear. It's crystal clear. Let me know what you guys would do in that situation. Here is the sleeve again. Oh, you 
You guys know how I feel about a good clear pressing. Oh, this is, this is, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Hello. It's me. <laughs> this is so nice. I think a clear pressing is always something that somebody can do. Like, if you really are out of ideas on what to press your record in, make a standard black and then do a clear one. Like, you can't go, you can't go wrong with a good clear record. Really? A bug just flew into this. That's kind of gross. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I smushed it. Bug is dead. Bug is dead now. <gasps> I don't have the merch shop one. I thought that I did. I totally forgot about this one that I'm holding in my hand. So I'm not gonna have that one until after Thanksgiving. Well, that puts a real shoe in this because now I can't compare them. I thought that this was the blue one, but it's not. I don't I don't have the web store exclusive one yet. So you will see me at a later time opening that one. But until then, this is the limited edition Target exclusive. Never get old. Never get old. This one is white. Oh, what is that? It's not in the grooves, but I do have like a, I don't even know if it's going to, where is it at? I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. I have like a gray spot in mine right there. What is that? It looks like somebody spilled a Sharpie on it or something. Now we have this, which I've never gotten a record from Amazon in this type of box. And it says this box was made to fit your order. Don't really know how to open it. Well, I was honestly shocked that this one came as fast as it did because I've had a lot of my Amazon exclusive pressings get delayed. Toronto Palettes is really timely. Like all of their pressings came out, no issues, no back orders or anything, at least to my knowledge. This was the first like successful time where I got like all of my pressings within the same two day period. So this one's kind of random. I don't understand this one. I don't know how orange was a possibility with this. Like yellow would have made sense, but this is the exclusive orange vinyl. Oh, okay. Very like McDonald's orange high C esque. A little orange punch. A little OJ moments. This is cute. It is a little, like, it's not fully see through, but it is a little transparent. Um, it is like a nice medium between opaque and transparent. So you can't, like, see me through it, but. Yeah, I don't know, like the orange and the blue just, I don't know, I don't know what from this speaks this. Is this like their mood for the album? Does it like have some sort of deeper meaning? <laughs> All these pressings were done super well in my opinion. They were done efficiently. I'm very grateful and thankful that I was able to get them all. Um, this was definitely like my vinyl splurge for the past two months because I haven't really been buying that many vinyl records. I think I've bought in two. <laughs> I do also like the black spine with the blue and pink font. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but that's kind of fun. I will see you guys in a few days when I have the last one that I need. <laughs> Several days later. I look the best I've ever looked. <sighs> I feel so exposed just because this isn't typically like how I film videos. It is officially Thanksgiving day. It is like almost 2 a.m. And here I am because I needed to finish this video so it gets uploaded today. I'm going to be unboxing the last vinyl record that I'm receiving. 
This is the merch shop exclusive that I was freaking out about not having. Did anybody order the Funko Pop 2 pack from the merch shop? Cause my husband did for me and it shipped either a day before or a day after this shipped. And to this day, I click on the tracking number and it says this package, like it says this tracking number is non-existent on UPS. And when I put it in USPS, because they do the SurePost thing, um, it says a waiting package. So like UPS hasn't even processed the package yet and dropped it off at USPS. And I emailed them and they told me like, oh, USPS is delayed, like your package will arrive, just give it time. And I'm like, that's not what the issue is. I don't care how long it takes as long as it gets to me, but the tracking number like does not work. Because this shipped on November 19th when it released, or November 18th, I'm sorry, this shipped. And the Funko Pop shipped like November 11th. So we're going on like 12 days and the tracking like doesn't work. And they're like, I guarantee that your order was, was sent out. And like all this stuff that they just keep saying. And I'm just so confused. Like I've never had it be like on UPS where it says like that that tracking number doesn't exist. And they tell me to track it in UPS first and then try USPS. And USPS just says a waiting package. But UPS has to get it first and then transfer it to the post office. And it just doesn't work. And it's been 13 days. So I feel like it should have done something. And then they're like, if you don't get it in 10 business days, excluding the holidays, reach back out to us. So I feel like I'm just not going to end up getting the pop because that's usually what happens. And I'm like really sad about it because I wanted to film a video on that. This is the exclusive light blue vinyl. We're going to directly compare this one to the Walmart exclusive Curacao vinyl that we opened earlier. Sleeve is once again the same. I guess it says it's light blue and like it is a light blue but if we compare this to the Curacao one it's literally the same shade of blue <laughs> like it's exactly the same shade of blue it's just the fact that this one is transparent and this one is opaque I do appreciate that you know obviously one is opaque and one is clear personally I prefer the Walmart exclusive over the merch shop exclusive. Let me know which one you guys would pick if you could only get one. I seem very unenthusiastic because I'm pretty sure I'm just tired and like I didn't feel the best today when I woke up. I'm so happy that I have all of these though and I got them so quick. Like this was literally the best vinyl purchasing experience that I've ever had because I got everything on time. So let me know in the comments down below which pressing you got as well as which pressing is your favorite out of all of the options. I did get tickets for the IC tour so there will be some tour vlogs next year when I go to that. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I'll see you again very very soon. Happy Thanksgiving! Peace out Girl Scouts!